I am Chef Sean Quillen. Over the last seven days, we were on a culinary journey. I went deep south. I met Miss Sake in Maya Center. Everywhere I went, I never told anyone what I was doing. We started to source ingredients and we started to talk about authentic Keche Mopan indigenous ingredients. Miss Saki was asked to come to Belize City and she kept asking, what will you do? I said, you have a wonderful job, important, and I tell her that's so nice. The client wanted authentic food. Today, well, last night, I told her the reason we are here. As you can see, as over there right now, the BDF, very diplomatic, the flag raising ceremony, our national anthem. I get cold seat because I'm proud Belizean. I, I Froyla Salam, Froyla Salam, do solemnly and sincerely, do solemnly and sincerely, affirm and declare, affirm and declare, that I will bear true faith, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to Belize, to Belize, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the Her Second, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the Second, Her heirs and successors, Her heirs and successors and will uphold the constitution and the law. And will uphold the constitution and the law. And that I will conscientiously, and that I will conscientiously, impartially, impartially, and to the best of my ability, and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties as Governor General of Belize. Discharge my duties as Governor General of Belize. And do right to all manner of people. And do right to all manner of people without fear or favor, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Uh -huh. Last year, the white line like this. One month ago, no, 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 no. No, more than, that. More than a month. Three, three or four months ago. Four months ago. Mm -hmm. And today I did pass tonight, having this event, knowing I need this as an ingredient, and for some reason, let's say by serendipity, the man they do it again after four months. Boy! Boy! I did endure my heat. But this is freaking amazing, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, bro. Buenas noches. How are you? What? Good night. <laughs> Hi, Misaki. Tell me, what are we making? Poch. I know a lot of people don't know because, of course, you see, in a in a Belize, we got three kind of Maya, and I keep saying that, right? And a lot of people don't know this cuisine because they think that the southern Belize like, is so difficult. Where are poch? So what you cook tur corn in? What do you cook it in? And you know where I bring for you? I just bring a cool bag of white lime for you. You know I just gonna make it. It's still hot. I wanna get it right now for the car. Yes. I know you need that, of course. <laughs> So, you take the corn and uh -huh. you cook the corn with the white lime, right? But what do you call it? In a Spanish, cal. Cal. What is it? Cotan. Cotan is, is white lime? Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Okay, so what we have here? So, poch, poch is different than tortilla. Yes, tortilla has to be fine. Oh, this is, this is not fine. No. And we put a lot of water when I grind it. Just put water, like it's kind of like. Like we did? Yeah, it's not M. So, tortilla would be. The question is that you take the molino uh -huh. and then you get massa with fine. So, why this is coarse? Why you not fine like that? Because mm -hmm. it can be loose when you eat it, not hard like rock. Mm -hmm. If you put it fine, it will be hard like this. Yes, that's true. So, for this now, and this. You have to let it stand at least for four hours, then you cook it. What kind of leaf this? Yeah, leaf. 
Wahalif. What's the difference between? I, I didn't ask you this question because when I got a Cayo and I got a orange rock and I got a Corozal, they make tamales and they wrap it in a leaf, but they're not Waha. No. Where they use? Banana, Banana leaf. But in, in, in the southern Belize, in the Mopan and the Kipche, Waha leaf. That a All right, your list, Misaki. Can you bend the comb? Turkey, done. Chicken, done. San Roman, poch. Yes? Chokwa. Yes. Jipe Jabba. Wahalif. Yes. Obel. Coconib. The, the cacao for your brother. Julio. Chocolate. Raw chocolate powder. Chocolate beverage. Everything I have to go see tomorrow. All right, good. That's a whole other thing. Maya pepper, where that? Oh, yes. We have a guy, 501 boys. Oh, boy. Where this come from? Which village this come from? San Antonio where? Toledo? Yes. Good. Because we're going to make a beverage with that, which is the chicha. Remember the drink? Okay. And masa. We need 35 pounds of masa. Is that enough? I think so. All right, very good. I'll have that for you. No. A part of this dinner, we need fresh fish for the lancha. For the obel. We don't got the obel leaf. We got the jippy japa. We went up with some tomato, onion, and garlic. But we need fish, but you see, Maya Center. As a matter of fact, any of these villages inland not have fish. Fortunately, we're in the village, village of Hopkins. Why look for mango, mango in a season. Um, Luke got fish today? No, no fish. You don't sell out? I sell out for Friday. So, I come too late. Yeah. What part is you think I will get fish? Alright, I could bring up the galasso and don't sell out by. Sold out, so I really need the fish. I think I have another couple of fishermen in this village. Mr. Luke, Lu Mr. Luke Nunes now have, but they got more people there. Let's go, see, five o'clock alarm, we wait, wait up early for this fish. Belizeans are the luckiest people in the world. Me as a chef are the luckiest chef in this world. Why? We get fish right now. The barrier reef there only about 12 miles high and the barrier reef. You know? And then right about 10 more miles this way in the west. That the Caxcomb Basin where Misaki live, the chokwa, the obel, the corn, the chocolate, the radius. If I talk about I source my ingredients from a short distance. It's not a lie. This is living food. So Fishing on my ice box now. Bobby. Right there, bro. Thank you, brother. Anytime, brother. Bless up. Thank you. Hey, we're, we're back at Misaki, but corner of the day now. Oh my goodness. I, we just left Angarifuna village, and that's mostly a fishing village. Of course, everything is fish, coconut milk. What is that? Corn, corn. Corn? Of course you have corn. Corn. This kitchen will in the Maya's house will always have beans and corn. All day, every day. And this is cooked in white lime. The same white lime we get off of the hummingbird highway. What is this again? So last night we came here but you never had this. What is this again? Coom. Coom. Corn. And this is cooking in the white lime, like you told me, right? That's why it's yellow. Beautiful. I'll try your, your white lime, but that's why it's Yes, the same one we got last night. Wicked. Boy. Don't try this one. Yes. I would like to take some to uh, leave it with me. Uh -huh. When you come back. Yeah. All right, we're going now. Guess what I just get? How about you get? I get the fish that we're gonna put for the lunch. Oh, yes. Fresh, fresh. It's in the, it's in the car. Oh, okay. So we got the fish now. And this is your bell. Yeah? For hute, yes. 
So we I just get a fish, hagfish. Okay. We put the hagfish there. We have put some jippy japa, right? Tomato, we onion. Yeah. Okay, we gotta leave it. I we it Let's go to PG, man. Maybe we'll find because we are going further down south. All right. right. I have one more thing I need after okay. this. Now we don't get the obel. We get the fish of Hopkins Village. Uh -huh. Can we go get some chocolate next? From Julio? Or when you return back, or when the night you return? No, right now. All right. Now. All right. Let's go, to, go get the chocolate. Go. All right. All right, Miss Saki. Where are we now? Is this your brother? Yes. Julio? Julio he makes chocolate. All right, yes. let's see. All right, see? He marks on it. <laughs> Traditional. Right? So this is, this is it right here. Can I taste? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get you. I mean, dicky honey, man. God damn it. <laughs> it's such a... Ooh, it has spices, yeah. It has spices, for sure. It has cloves. Like it's a there. secret ingredient. They only give you clove, and I get none more. Yeah. This have sugar? That's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%, right? Bitter. I have a final question is that for it to be very authentic, should we put the head, the, the cuts, comb and everything in this soup? Okay. The, the, the real deal. The real deal! Right? Yes. It is not traditional Mayan caldo without the head inside. Reason for that Tell is me, that when, when they take the head and they put it in the fire and it burns, all of that fat that is in there, all of that fat that is burnt, yes. and you put it into the pot, creates that authentic flavor. Now you can do it without it, but it is not as authentic. But it's going to be so, authentic. So right. I am on a mission now to go, buy, go find at least 25 cock's head. Cock's head, Jesus Christ. And it's very symbolic because we are located in the cock's comb. Right. Yes? Continuing on my journey to source authentic indigenous ingredients for my meal, we are now in Golden Stream on the Southern Highway. Cinnamon Hall, this is the famous spice farm of Belize. I know for my dessert, I have the chocolate, I have the cacao, I have the liqueur. I need nutmeg, I need cinnamon, I need allspice, I need cardamom. <laughs> I got my cacao. You know what this ladies and gentlemen? I wish people can smell this. What is this here? So this is cinnamon. Boy, watch ya. It smells like we're chewing a big red chewing gum. <laughs> oh man, I wish you can't smell it, laser. I'm very happy so far, Senor Antonio. I have my cinnamon. I have my whole cinnamon branch because I want to use this for like a tea. Mm -hmm. I have my JP Japa. I have my cacao. In a day's work, look. We were in Hopkins Village this morning, we got the fish. Of course, we went to Maya Center, we got all the other ingredients. This is cardamom, cinnamon, no. This is jippy japa, heart of palm, cacao. Again, we have cardamom powder. This is fresh nutmeg. A lot of people don't even realize that nutmeg grows in Belize. We don't need to import nutmeg ever. Come to tomorrow morning early with any first bus. Six o'clock. Come to Belize City, we're going to the House of Culture. We are jumped for the next three days straight, non stop. We just got our plates ordered 300 six inch plates, 200 salad forks, 100 shot glasses. 15 clay pots, um, pinol, pinol, uh, we're gonna serve the pinol in some clay pots. And that's only that because we have five, 500 different appetizers, 509 courses of plated food, so it's a lot of work. The others will go on wood, like these, so we don't worry about that. The others will go on wood, so. Events are dictated by the culture and the cuisine, but 
it also dictates the help that we ask for. I am so, it's really an honor for me to have the best of the best when it comes to like this. This lady do this every week for 365 days a year. Yes? Yes, you get the kindness man and you bring it. Miss G, that the baddest, huh? <laughs> and if this is a Garifuna um, event, then we may have another set of people, but this country is rich. And they... All right, Mr. Kiwe, at the point now that we need to do the lancha, and that is the obel with the hot fish that we got from Hotkins. But on top, we want to put like a salsita. This was given to me. We went to the farthest, this one we got from the farthest region of the country on our tour. We went to San Antonio, we had a back with Justin Ball. And the man give me like the Belize flag, so I'll give it to you now. It traveled hundreds of miles. Let us reveal it and see what, it, what we have now here in Belize City. Now. And then you tell me what you want from it. You want me to dice it with tomatoes, onion, and garlic, yes? Man, it's been traveling, you know, and the, the wahali still look good to you. We pick this, you know, that way. Oh, I can't describe. All right, this is the palm, GP Japa. This, I'll dice it up, and then I'll get the fish ready for you, and later we'll do the lancha, yes? And then a mopan, you call it, patch. Pacha. Pacha. Excellent. <laughs> Boy, I, I made it run low, and I made it figure that um, staffing, I think, has time to run. So I had to have a backup. I have the only other Kechi chef I know, Mr. Alberto Teul. Thanks for coming, man. This man, a Kechi, yes? From which village? San Pedro, Colombia. Maya Center. So, boy, you call exact time just to make the lunch. Right. So, I think straight up, you have a tachki, too? Yeah. You wake up at tachki this morning. Yeah. So, what time you left tachki? I left at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Richard and Riga 10. Boss? Yeah, boss. Boss. Billy City. Straight at the hand sink. Yeah. Wash your hand. Straight in at it. Thanks, man. <laughs> I had to stop this because this is very special. This, we went on the Hummingbird Highway. We were fortunate to see at Santa Mar St. Margaret's Village that they were making this. I actually made this myself. I gave you a bag and you, you made the masa from it, remember? Yes. And then we save a little bit because we're going to put it in a different application. So for, for, for corn, it's called nishtamal. And then we're going to make a conserva de papaya. So let's go. We're going to put it. Chef Teul is cutting some papaya and we're going to put it in there, okay? This is truly amazing the mayas the incas all of central america indigenous groups have been using this this is in scientific term calcium bicarbonate not made in a factory it changes the ph balance in water it is used for fertilizer it is used for citrus banana industry Today we are using it for food. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, food. Oh man. I'm gonna put some of this in there. I love the dice. Look how gorgeous those dice. Remember, everything has to be. I'm gonna put water. This is papaya. This is turn papaya. If I just give me a demonstration, if I go like this, right, what will happen? Break up in my hand, right? No good. We don't want when you eat this, pop we don't want to cook it and it dissolves. The, what the white line will do is create an outer crust. It will, for some scientific reason, from a natural rock, it will create a crust. And later we will cook this in sugar, spices, uh, spice clove, ginger, uh, and you have a crust. Believe it or not, papaya will have, when you, when you bite it, it's going to be like a gummy bear with a cream filling inside. All natural. Impressive. Belize, boy. Boy, we plan and plan and plan and plan. And there is always going to be, I don't need bag. There is always going to be one thing. And certain things you can't find everywhere, so at least we find it in Belize, you know. Ordinarily, I would have to order this on Amazon.com, but this I can find here. If we were to be very, very authentic now, I may take a coconut, chill him, and I may make one eating, but right now we don't got time. Thank you very much. In English. So what do we have here? I mean, I went from my Asenta, if you saw, yeah. I went to Bisa Julio Saki, I got the chocolate, 80% dark. 
then you made it into this wonderful dome. And underneath it, what I have? Chocolate cake with uh, horchata mousse and cocoa, mm -hmm. with infused with cocoa liquor, mm -hmm. and uh, this sauce will be a coconut burnt caramel sauce. Hi, <sighs> boy, you see what you just said? No, chocolate. <laughs> We call it a dome, right? Like a little balloon and like a little ball. So, son of a god, Mr. Hula Saki, you'll be very proud to know that we're handling your chocolate with care from the bean to the bar the to the plate. dome. And underneath, you got a chocolate cake bar. So, we got a mousse, our mousse, our fancy word. Usually, in the French cuisine, they put all kinds of mousse. But we have our chata, which is rice blended. So, you soak the rice, you blend the rice, you put it in this. Oh, man. And then, finally, I'll tell you the secret, the piece de resistance of this <laughs> dish is that we're going to pour a very hot, yes. hot caramel sauce on yeah. top of it. Yeah. But this caramel sauce, I remember, thing we make out of butter and heavy cream, that's French. We made it from? Coconut oil and coconut milk. Son of a gun! We chow the butter, we put mm -hmm. silk grass from coconut oil, we chow the milk, we put coconut milk. And I'll tell you, we tried it and we, we tasted it. And it is fit for a reason. Yes. yes. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Hello. Thank you so much. I've been tracking this for all day. That's why we got the camera. Straight from our region, you know, bro. I got it, love. Thank you. Mama. What? I don't find angry, right? You have a chore for the dead, right? Right? And the drink time. Mmm. Mmm. Fit for a queen. <laughs> I can tell you about this country. It's so diverse. Down south, we have chocolate, banana, citrus. But up north, we have sugar cane. And you know where the sugar cane is? We have distilleries and we have alcohol. And if you take the chocolate from down south and you put it in our sugar cane, we get one. Cacao liqueur. <laughs> we don't know the try cook with BLS and, and what? Kalua? <laughs> Kalua, my. <laughs> Thank you, let's go. Okay. We are at the point now, we're moving. It's about 5 p.m. time to go. We're at the lancha. Very special to me. Again, I'm just the orchestra here. Celebrities are here. Chef Alberto Teul Kechi, Miss Claudia, of course, everybody knows about Pan. What are we doing here now? Pacha, in your language, Mopan is Pacha. Obel, we have a nice wahalif and so suddenly you put the fish and so. Amazing, but I want to hear this from Teulo because, again, I keep doing this because Yucatec have a different cuisine. Mopan, he have a different name for this same fish. What do you call this fish here? He call it lancha. Lancha. And you call it? Pacha. Pacha, pacha, lancha. Oh my God. This is the Owa, no, this is the Owa. This is Hute. Come, man, come, I'll go ask you because put that down. What is Hute? What is Hute? What is Hute? Hute are the river snails. You love it? Personally love it? Yes. How do you eat it? In a, um, we make it in a, like a caldo like way with, but, with masa. With masa, so it's like a, a, a thin, it's like a thin masa porridge and you eat this. What I will be doing tomorrow is serving it with this sauce here, which is, which is a, another version of atole. Freshwater snail, I'm going to pair it with a atole, which has the snapper bones. I'm going to put them together in a shoe. So I took ground turkey and I made a white recado. What is traditional recado? Red, anato. Black one is burnt tortillas. There's a white recado too. So I took cinnamon, allspice, uh, cebolla, canela, nuez, anise, comi comino, ajo, and I blended it, and that is called a white recado. That's too big. So we need now to make a paleta, which in other, in other terms they could call it a kofta. So this is like a kofta of a white relleno re with recado blanco, and we're gonna. Serve this, sear it on a comal, put it in a stock off 
and I'm very interested to tell you. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Stay there. I must tell you. I must tell you this, Saki, because Saki, where is Tidam right there? Where is um, cinnamon. This is a cinnamon tree that I brought from the spice farm of Belize, and I made a. I'm steeping it here. Listen, if you could smell this right now, it's very hot. This is the broth, and we're gonna cook this kofta in a broth of cinnamon leaves and stick and chicken stock. Remember that chicken stock we made earlier? And we're gonna serve this on an open style tamal, which is kol and masa. So just think about you eat one tamales. Tamales traditionally wrap up with the lean meat in there. You never know where you get. You can't ask your leg, you can't ask your brisket, you'll get where you'll get. But this is gonna be a kofta of ground turkey. Poached in a cinnamon stick and grow and chicken stock with an open face tamale. Conserva de papaya y piña. And then we put this. This is like molasses. It's gonna get dark. It's gonna reduce to a syrup. The cal will create the thickness. We're gonna serve this on a chocua, which will have a chocolate ganache from the chocolate Maya Center. Amazing, right? You can see it all coming together, sir. You can see it coming together. Oh, look. And I just must tell the camera that we do all of this so far. That's the impressive part so far. <laughs> all right, so here we have the col, which is more of a colado. You notice it's thin. In other countries, they call this polenta. Here we made this from the white lime that we got from, which I must say we collect to myself. I mean, I'm just loving today, right? Collected the white lime, the sake, cooked the corn, blended the corn, turned it into masa, Miss Gigi turned it into col, colado. This tastes like the tamales. Now we are take this, put it in the butter. Tomorrow you are seated, we are put this. Oh my goodness. So that's Yucatec application now. In the Caribbean, they call it ruku. Uh, ruku in a, in a like, Jamaica and any place they call it ruku. They don't use this really. But of course, in our culture, we use this. The number one dish is rice and meat, chicken and salad. Very famous. This chicken must have a natto, which is this. Okay, so this is famous as recado. But this is red recado. We know the word about that. In Belize, we have another recado, especially the Yucatec. Black recado. You see it? Similar to, I could paint this one, yes, so. I could paint this one, yes, so. Amazing. Black ricardo is spicy. It has, it's made from burnt tortillas. So they take the tortilla and they burn it intentionally. This one, the family Silla, called Anato. Ricardo Negro, Ricardo Rojo. So, we are taking ground pork now. And another famous dish in Yucatec Maya is called Reino Negro or Chirmole. So we're gonna take the black ricardo. We have, we have pork, got it. Season up. Pork. And we are make in Yucatec, this is called boot. Boot. Boot is to stuff in the chicken at the way near Reynar. Because Reynar means to stuff. So if you push it in the cavity of a turkey, se llama relleno negro. Pero, we're going to stop right at the boot. We're not going farther than the boot. So at this point, you could never know how it tastes until you taste it. So, and I would recommend any chef or home cook to do this. Before we go and make everything and the either need salt or no salt, you've got to test. So there's a I forgot a little tester right there, right? We're about 60% ready. It's about 7 p.m. This is day five and we still not ready. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Which in usually will happen, no? I can show you something. Our refrigeration needs to be at 40 degrees or less. This is at 70. Horrible. So no, that's not working. Now we're gonna transfer everything from here to the freezer because we don't have time. And we don't have, sanitation is a important thing. Now my oven not working. I think I'm having an electrical problem. I can't pass 100 degrees. We need to get 350. So we're gonna bake the chicken now. We gotta sear the chicken. It's a good thing we always have a plan B, right Dio? So we're gonna sear the chicken now. The show must never stop. The guests will never know. Seamless. I'm just telling you. 
No go tell them where, just tell them. No. My, fridge, my fridge went down. No, it's okay, it's okay. So it's what you okay. gonna do? Where you gonna put uh, it? Uh, in my fridge, but I'll just have to like puzzle everything. Alright, because uh, you know, the usual drama. <laughs> Thank you. Are they going for it? Are, are they? Yes, are I just called an electrician. It's back with Taylor. I don't. 7 10 pm. Curfew is in two hours. Let's see. No, we yeah. gotta fix it. No yeah, pressure. But that person, that person is, is already going. It's coming. I just can't land on it. First dish is a Yucatec dish. It is relleno negro boot. Boot is the stuffing that goes in the traditionally turkey or chicken. However, we deconstructed it. We didn't put it in there. You can make this as a picadillo, which is a whole other dish. But at this point in time, we're putting it on a on a masa. So this is a salbute, relleno negro boot. It has white egg, the egg white, sorry. We have a pickled slaw on top. We have a serrano, microgreen, and finished with egg yolks. Ole, Hute, Shooter, Maya Pepper, Gorgeous, Atole is a snail, traditionally they eat it like that, we're serving it with Atole which is, and we have seafood stock right, so it's a seafood Atole because naturally the snail is from a river right, amazing eh? Traditional caldo, poch, and for good measure we have a chicken's head in there too. The cock's head. Oh my God! And that concludes my culinary journey. Seven days, seven nights. Chocolate, cacao, Toledo, Jippy Japa, Hute, and the end results well speaks for itself. I'm out of here. Time for a cool spot. See you in my next adventure where I showcase inspired Belizean cuisine. Stay tuned.